Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Anthony Cummins. I'm a historical researcher and author. Please enjoy the video. Right everyone, we're going to be talking today about landmines. Boom! Boom shakalak! Right, all my videos are on support book. So at the moment we're supporting how to be a modern samurai. 10 uh, steps to finding your power and achieving success by moi, Anthony Cummins. Right, so have a go. Get that if you're interested in samurai culture. Has a chapter on ninja. Okie dokie, the landmine. Where do we get primary evidence for the ninja landmine? Okay, here we go. We get it from the Gumpo Geosho. So it's this book, which is The Secret Editions of the Shinobi. If you go to page 90, you will see the instructions for the landmine are there. Okay, this is the instructions. And I'll talk to you this, about this a bit more in a minute. But that's 16... 12 to 16 19 depending on how you date it goes through the various versions and then you get to the book of ninja which is 1676 and again you can see there it is there's the landmine and there's the info and that's on page 400 and 401 okay now we know for a fact that this this later document took the information from that earlier document so there they are that's where the documentation comes from now however there is an issue because one has copied the other they've copied the difficulties the first one the gumpo joshua is quite abstract is the wrong word but it's not wholly clear on what should happen and i i personally think the illustration is inverted they've uh during the printing uh, side of it, they've inverted it, but that's just a theory. Basically, I would love to get a handwritten copy of the original Gumpo Joshu or original transcription and look at the position of the landmine because we do know that later it was made into a woodblock print and there may have been an issue with a woodblock print. Like whoever's copied it out has copied it inverted because by the time it's printed, the original author is dead. So they may have just like misunderstood it or put it in the wrong way or done something. Uh, we just don't know. But we've got to find a handwritten version of the Gumpo Joshu, which isn't copied from the woodblock, but which goes to that. So there is a little bit of problems on how it actually works. However, it's considered understood. Most people know how it works. Uh, sorry, in Japan, myself, uh, different people have all had a look at it and look at, and it sort of works in this fashion. So uh, Andrew Throburn, who is my right hand guy at Natura Ryu, he's give it a go. Um, he hasn't filled it with gunpowder or anything. He's just look, built it a mock of it uh, to see. And what we have here, I'm going to show you some images across the screen as I'm yatting away. But yatting being a northern word for chatting. Um, I've never thought of it like that before. You're having a yat. So, oh yeah, having a chat, having a yat, there you go. So, uh, as I am yatting away, you'll see these images. Now, um, basically, it'll consist of a wooden, a very thin wooden box. You will fill that uh, with gunpowder and also bits of crap like nails, stones. It's probably bigger than this, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Andrew's done it to the exact dimensions. But on top, and the top has got to be really lightweight wood, like you could easily crack it. On top of that, you've got half bamboo strips, and then through them, you've got fuses. Now, you cover this all up with um, matting or leaves and that type of thing, and what happens is you calculate how long the fuses are, and you calculate how long it's going to take for someone to cross over them, and then what you do is you light the fuse and hide or run away, and it's not a very fast fuse, it's just it will slow burn, and it's slowly burning inside of these half... Um, bamboo sections and then when somebody stands on it through the leaves and through the the netting they will crush the bamboo top uh, and crush the lid and empty the embers into the gunpowder which will blow up and send hot rocks up to their testicles and rip all the insides of their legs off and all that so it might not kill someone but it's not going to be a fun time for them and there'll be lots of bleeding and possibly infection and maybe death who knows so it stops people wanting to walk forward it's like a stop stopping agent so there we go that's the ninja landmine so what do you think guys uh have a read of the text do you do you see any different ways uh there are multiple ways i've i cross reference this with other landmines in other documents and it's just an idea of how japanese landmines would work but there are different theories on them but that is pretty much the prominent theory at the moment right don't forget if you want to support me guys 
please do. It's How to Be a Modern Samurai. comes out in August. That's August 2020. So if you're watching this video after August 2020, the book is out. But do pre-order a copy now. If not, it's out. Order it. There we go. And it's also, also on Audible, guys. You can actually get this on Audible, which again, August 2020. If you're over that, it's already out. So enjoy.